<laughs> no, this is it's, <laughs> it's not Facebook. This is a real phone call. I mean, I never had more press for anything I've ever done. <laughs> Um, no, I didn't know that. Why is it not on the fucking uh, CNN? They said on CNN they were waiting to get Kevin Brown in the mood. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I didn't know he was ill. <laughs> no, we didn't start yet. The world of, the world of comedy and Kevin Brennan. Uh. Oh my God, Charlie Murphy. I was just bitching about Charlie Murphy. Who are you talking about? Is is a cop? Is a cop friend of mine? (laughs) (laughs) He's he's not Hoboken. He's not Hoboken. You have nothing to worry about. (laughs) Black guy dies. Yeah. Irish families get called. Oh, oh, just Oh, Artie, this is the guy that just gets his cards from. This is what from? His PBA cards. So he's got a card for you, apparently. Great for me. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work. Charlie Murphy. I was just saying. I was bitching about like Charlie Murphy still. I a nice guy. Leukemia. Wow. No wonder. What? Sever Facebook and Facebook Live. Yeah. No, I was just on Facebook Live before you called. So they, they were joking that. Are you are they are you still on Facebook Live? I'm waiting for it to come on CNN. I guess they have to wait for for it to be confirmed. Oh, that's fucked up, man. Wait, who do we have so far? Rickles. Oh my god. <laughs> that's a good show. Yeah. All right, I'll talk to you later. I gotta go. Is that Charlie though? Isn't that Eddie? I mean, I. That's Charlie. That's Charlie. Yeah, he was thinner. He he lost weight or something. I think like well, they said he was all. I guess he was always thin, and then, and yeah, then um, the leukemia is not good for you. All right. Boy, this, uh... Charlie was older than Eddie, right? Yeah. He's an alright guy, man. Fifty-seven. They were hanging out with him. Well, no, Eddie Murphy was just as poor as I remember. He had the same. Uh, he had the same birthday as Brand though, April 3rd. So Eddie Murphy, I don't know why I remember. So Eddie Murphy was born April 3rd, 1961. So he was, Eddie Murphy just turned 56. Well, that's, uh... Yeah, Charlie was 57. Black, yeah, Eddie Murphy just turned 56. Well, that's Unless bad. they're, you know, <laughs> wherever this came from is wrong. <laughs> yeah, 56 years old, 59, they were, they were close, but... They look, I mean, they look exactly the way. It's so funny. Did you ever meet any, uh, uh, either one of them? No, but my brother has. So, that's, that's, that's something. No, he was at Eddie's house. They used to hang out at Eddie's at house. At Bubble Hill? Uh, in New Jersey. Bubble Hill. Chappelle and Neil would go to Eddie's house and pay homage to the king. That must have been a lot of slow talking, trying to look cool. Not do the impressions they could do. No, he would just watch. T- he would just watch TV. Are we on? Right. Yeah. Uh, he would yeah. just watch TV. There's two. Uh, who? Eddie Murphy. Mine's a little loud. Jesus uh, Christ. Uh, yeah, I'm a real prima donna. You're fucking 45 minutes later. You're on. I'm house. trying to. I'm trying to. Uh, there's a lot of traffic by the uh, by the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> traffic. By the bathroom. I. Yeah, that's uh, good. I. Uh, I have to get phlegm out of my chest. It's a long story. <laughs> But, so, uh, uh, so, so, so you are you have a, an anecdote about someone you know meeting Eddie Murphy? <laughs> 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 you have a three to- three person removed story about here. I'm at I is Kevin Brandon from Misery Loves Company. What also is that? with the Burning Bridges, uh, Comia Network. Burning Bridges. I have a story. I would joke about that. I say I I, I was once uh, in a crack den late and I lit a crack pipe and I burned top bridges, <laughs> and uh, nobody laughs at it ever. <laughs> But then I say Google top bridges and they will laugh. <laughs> really? So it becomes a runner, yeah. Uh, so I, I'm in Artie Lang's apartment. Can I say where you live? 
I'm I kidding. I don't kidding. give a shit. They're just no, we any police blotter will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't find it on GPS. Any 10-year-old with a laptop and a slide rule. Bruce gave me a ride over, and he goes, Springsteen? will they have parking in the... No, Bruce, the guy who drove me over. Well, let's explain who apartment. he is. You explain who you are. <laughs> You're a solid uh, comic. And this guy, who's not even a celebrity, is just saying Bruce. <laughs> yeah. Let's go down the list of who it could be. Hornsby. I just, what uh, is that? I just live in Kevin's apartment. Talk on the microphone. No, he did my he did my website too. This guy get the uh, email about Marconi. Yeah. No, I just told you that this guy's a nice guy. You you do you do his website? Yeah, I, do, I live in his building, so. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it convenient. Is that? Oh, he recognized it? my voice in the elevator. Then he said, uh, that "From where?" Out. Yeah, From my podcast, <laughs> Artie don't even know. I don't, Artie doesn't know something. anything. Let me tell you something. First of all, I have a hit podcast, Artie. I know you don't know that. It's called I, Misery Loves Company. Everyone's podcast. done it but you, and I've you're, we're yeah, neighbors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, tell me to do it. I, I every time I go there, your wife th- talks to me about dirty work. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, your, see, your met, wife's an enormous fan of mine, right? You met my wife? I've never met your wife. Oh, yeah. I've never, <laughs> meet my oh, wife, please. <laughs> no, she she is a big fan. Meet my wife, please. She was going to come no, out that's today. That's not a fat she, joke, right? She's just a skinny person who happens to like. <laughs> no, she was. She's a big fan. Yeah, from the but used to be skinny. on Howard Stern. She. <laughs> no, she. Oh, yeah, I'm sure more people know you're on Misery Loves Company than that. <laughs> I've never met one person in this building who knew I was on Howard Stern. So the fact that you met someone in your building who knew Misery Loves Company. I know that is weird. It was on for a week. No, he heard me. He heard me on the elevator. Yeah. Is there a lot of scuttlebutt, uh, uh, <laughs> Bruce, about Kevin living in the building? Yeah. <laughs> Do they think it's Neil? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because the paparazzi's waiting for me. The and they're like, what the fuck's going on here? The paparazzi. <laughs> I, uh, Wait, does the paparazzi come here after you got arrested for your incident? Yeah, I know. For your uh, first of all, I, I get, I get uh, stellar reviews uh, for a, the premiere of a little show called Crash. And uh, I, I, uh, I, you know, nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Are you plugging your own show on no, your no, I'm podcast? No, I'm telling us. I'm making oh. what you're saying funny. Oh. <laughs> Which apparently is going to be a theme. No, I, uh, I can't believe, I can't. I, we wait an hour for this? You're no Lenny Marcus. <laughs> I, uh, they said theme of uh, Misery Loves Company was coming, and I, of course, respected Marcus. <laughs> is he still doing it with you? Or mm-hmm. he married that black chick? <laughs> no, that's me. <laughs> you didn't marry a black chick. She's do a tranny, have, I do think. You, uh, do you have... Uh, <laughs> Tranny Hall, I uh, Tranny Hall. Uh, no, I my guess wife's my wife's blackish. Is that true? Yeah. Well, how do you deal with that with your family, the Brennans? <laughs> they don't. Even, my parents are so old; they didn't even give a shit. Are they black Irish? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> how many kids you got? Ten. Ten. Yeah. Wow. Well, I don't have two ten, are, but only I want two. Are, ten. Only two are funny. No, they're all. Everyone's funny. Neil and That's who? What, now I'm starting to realize everyone's funny. Neil and who? Neil and no, who, he okay. says. Well, I'm, no, trying, I'm trying to say it until you. Everyone's were... funny when uh, when the fucking United thing happened two days ago. I know. Every, it. I, I realize everyone's funny. Everyone can write a joke. Did they do a lot of bits uh, about how like uh, Trump, no, I, Trump I, said the Chinese president's on a plane to United. Everything's fine. Did they do that? I don't know. No, it was mostly about Pepsi, but everybody had a joke. So Pepsi. It's like everybody can. No, they said give the guy a Pepsi and everything's good. You're I could, really I not, could, are could, you up on the news? I could see why you're on a hip podcast. Dan, is, is, really uh, Ari, is Ari up on the news? I know a Chinese guy got taken off a United flight. No, yeah, he know, does he know about the Pepsi story, no, too? No, anything with Jenner, except what for happened, Caitlin. What happened Kendall, Kendall Jenner, Jenner had a commercial or something. Yeah, or and something. It, and it was, <laughs> well, whenever you can, bring Dan into it. <laughs> well, is he no good? <laughs> You'll find out. <laughs> We've been talking to him for three hours. Had a young man? No, he's a good guy, though. I got a second. I got to clear my fucking nose. It's a long story. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's like fucking doing a show on the fucking D train at three in the morning. People are just gagging up their shit in their nose. Oh my god. Luckily I have Usually eaten. something funnier is going on though. No, luckily I haven't eaten recently. Oh my god. I'm sorry. So Dave Juskow says to me, "Why do you do this in the in the bathroom before you came out?" <laughs> because we're on Facebook Live. <laughs> I, I, well, it's, I hear Kev doing a, uh, like a sixty minutes interview. I'm I'm in the bedroom and I hear, "Yeah." So anyway, I got uh, you know some stuff coming up. I'm very excited about my website. No, I'm just talking. Uh, Why are you upset? You're just talking. I'm very excited about my website. I know the Misery Loves Company is a big hit. What <laughs> Misery Loves Company? It's a podcast. It's a big hit. And, uh, you know, and, uh, and I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, I'm on Facebook Live. It's my first time ever. No, people say it's your Facebook Live. Is that why you got dressed? 
<laughs> no, people say Facebook. Oh, no, I got dressed because I was going outside. <laughs> uh, uh, but I'm bum. Anyway. Uh, so it's you and Lenny Marcus and who else on the thing? Lenny quit. Lenny quit. Um, I guess it was a hit. Did you go to... Did a, lot, you go- a lot of G-list comics quit hit shows. <laughs> Exactly. That was my point with Lenny. I'm like, why are you quitting? You have nothing going on. Then did he did pro- your, then he did your thing with Just Cat, right? And that was that was a that was, that was a train wreck. Was great. <laughs> no, it wasn't train wreck. It was you wouldn't God- even show up half the time, it, it right? It wasn't train wreck. It was The Godfather. No, the train wreck's the, the, a hit movie. The football show. I know. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. I I would show up and I listen, you and Just Cat and I Lenny. would show up. This is astonishing. I just got some people have no self awareness. I would show up. There are people paying fifteen dollars for like a Coors Light, and it's literally. I'm not even kidding. Dave Juskow showing slides <laughs> from when he went to a giant game. I said, are you kidding? The people were like, I was giving money back in the audience. That was my bit. I said, I'll give you $40. They were so depressed. He was showing family slides of himself. No, he wasn't. Uh, okay. But it, I thought it was, I thought no, you guys I'm were kidding. like, no, I thought, was, I thought you were like Jimmy the Greek and you were going to give, you were, right. you were talking about the game. You I were like talking the, about the game. I don't know anything about sports, but I, do, I think blacks have extra bones. <laughs> 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 That's right. I'm like Jimmy the Greek. Why he does look like Jimmy the Greek. Why is it my show ahead? What? Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, what do you charge for your show? What do you mean charge? Well, <laughs> Most shows are free. I seven bucks a month. I guess. I know it's a rip off. No, no I, not to five thousand people in New Jersey. Is it? <laughs> it's a quarter a day. Do the math. That's thirty five. No, I got. I'm at Cumia now, so I got another show at Cumia. That's the same thing. Seven. It's not that big. It's not. No, like it's seven dollars. Say Anthony Cumia. Oh, Anthony Cumia. It could be That's seven. Cumia. <laughs> could, right? be, could be Lou Cumia. <laughs> no, it's seven dollars a month. They have like eight shows. You, how many shows you have on your network? None. <laughs> I have this one. It's called Artie's And Sneezes. it's the same price? Yeah. I Go mean, to Cumia. Uh, <laughs> for the love of God, go to Cumia. Thank God only 5,000 people are hearing that. <laughs> Say it on your show so someone will hear it. <laughs> and uh, I, we do have more listeners than you. I know. If you get 5,000. I have 35 but grand a month I make. I know. What do you make? <laughs> what are you I'm, pulling down from that hit show? I'm doing all right. At least I'm not. How much does it cost you? I'm not not now. And fucking, I'll outlive you. Believe me. How much does it? How much does it cost? I'll outlive me. I'll be taking care of your wife and kids. I guarantee it. Oh my After god. After you croak at a Sheridan in Milwaukee, she'll come to me and go, "Listen, I'm a big fan." <laughs> that would really kill me if if Artie outlived me. That would really kill me. What is that you trying? Now to do? I have a goal. Now I have. <laughs> is that have like, a new goal? That would kill you if I outlived you. Yeah. No, I'd be like, uh, speaking of, did we mention that Charlie Murphy died? I outlive Will Panette. <laughs> Two comedians don't know, didn't know Charlie Murphy died today. Kevin Brennan and Eddie Murphy. <laughs> 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 but it know. just happened, right? No. So I was talking to In a... the black was, community, this is like days. <laughs> I was talking to a cop. I, a friend of mine is a cop. So in, was I. In New Jersey. <laughs> And um, your friend's a cop. He said, he, "No, he said be careful because it goes in threes, right? You had Rickles and now Charlie yeah. Murphy. So he said, he said to be careful. It's, to well, you. it's going down and fucking. But celebrity. I said that would be a good show: Charlie Murphy, Don Rickles, and Rickles, Artie Lang. Rickles. No, probably my brother. Rickles, Charlie Murphy, and then probably uh, what's Bruce. 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 <laughs> Wait, did you talk to Norm about when Rickles died? Nobody talks to Norm. Norm's a hologram." Yeah, we talked. We and Norm talked. We did a lot, a lot of anecdotes. No, did you or no? <laughs> yeah. When Rickles died, did you talk to him? Absolutely. Not Norm uh, McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't get Norm. Norm's a fun. He's, he thinks he's Howard Hughes. He, yeah. Well, no. no, he's a, no he Minus thinks, the money. Huh? <laughs> he's Howard Hughes without the money. Exactly. But he thinks he's like, I can't, I can't be bothered with conversation. No, and, he's just a very depressed guy. Uh, but the very, very funny. Uh, you know. Yeah, but when I worked on a show, we were like best friends. As soon as the show's over, he barely even acknowledges me. I well, sent him, send him an email. Do you find that happens a lot? Do you and Lenny talk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Lenny quit a hit show. Why did he quit a hit show? That's so odd. Because he, he was getting married, and I did a show on Rosh Hashanah with Adam, and he took it personally because he's a who? fucking dirty Jew. Huh? Adam, oh. <laughs> well, that's why you're not getting big in show business. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't help. Is that your catchphrase, dirty Jew? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. It's been working so far. What is your uh, now? Now let me ask you this. What yeah, let it, him slow down. What does it cost you? A day it's like to, Barbara Walters. What does it let, cost, me, let me slow you down. What does here. it cost you a day to do the show? <laughs> cost me a day to do your podcast. How much does it, it cost doesn't you? cost anything. You make money on it. 
Yeah, I make it. Yeah, I make Bruce, money. Bruce, we have a hit of it. <laughs> I, well, do, I get donations. A, I get, you know, I'm, I'm, I got my fucking hand out. Who gives you donations? People. They love the show. <laughs> <laughs> they give you donations too, nigger. Yeah, and, I seven, give, and I give them a show. And seven, I give them a show. First, first, give of, all, a show. first of all, we'll both be working construction on Monday. <laughs> now, by the way, you, that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> no, that's what I, I do. Like, <laughs> no, I do. I got to do one once a show. I have to say now because I that's like my one of my other co. That's why it's a hit. One of my other co-hosts. Said, that's why Lenny quit all the time. <laughs> no, I never said it when Lenny was Who's around. Who's your other Lenny, co-host? Jimmy Martinez. You know him? Oh, he's a real uh, lover. <laughs> no, he's black, but he, he no, he's not. He parties, so Martinez? maybe you know him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. We all know each other. <laughs> Blacks who party. No, I, I thought you guys might run into each other. Let me ask you know. this. Let me ask you this. Yeah, ask me. Go ahead. I uh, I I came out and you were doing your Facebook Live. Now, <laughs> how many Facebook friends do you have? I, I think I'm almost at the max. <laughs> that's what so I'm trying there's, to. So there's max. Well, no, that's what I'm trying to. No, that's what I'm trying to. Uh, Facebook max. Live to get to the max. The Boy, max you is like five thousand, he, he right? Not, he's so jealous. He doesn't let the laughs go at all. Like he's, he's his friend Bruce. Laughing at my joke, and he goes, "There's my Facebook creator." <laughs> no, I don't care if Here's people laugh. I don't, I don't, I don't, nobody in my wait. building even knows I'm in show business. I don't have to wait. They're not talking. It's just laughter over over a thing. I have to wait. Why don't you? Why don't you come to my act and just fucking yell out shit? I would love to. <laughs> you want to open up? No. no, of course not. You wouldn't. Do Who's it. your opener? How much do you make a gig? I can't afford it. <laughs> How much do you make? Wait, a who? Russ Maneva opens for you, right? Yeah, I give you like what I give him twenty five, three grand. No, you don't give him three grand. I, well, I make 40, 50. No, you what don't. I saved the check for you. How much does he make? That's, that's what he makes. 50 make, grand at a gig. I make a 50. No, you don't. Yeah. yeah. Then yeah. why is your place such a shithole? Look, you I don't know. Fucking, Do you see the city to there your was right? A pipe explosion. No, look at this over look there. Look to your the, right. It's the best view of the greatest city on earth, Dick Lick. You close these shades. It's that's 20, I, you close these shades, of course, what your condo costs. <laughs> <laughs> why? What do you say? Yeah, but maybe if you're not thinking about your joke, you'll hear it. I, I'm not even. I thought we were gonna talk. I don't know where. No, but what's? Why do you have a hole in your face, wall? Facebook Live. Why do you have a hole in your wall? We're shooting the Great Escape. <laughs> it's like the fucking Shawshank in here. No, it's nice. Well, you're tearing them up. Anyway, uh, we had some repairs. I've been here 17 years. Jesus, you don't have any water 17 damage. 17 years. You know why you're nowhere near the water? You don't have water damage. <laughs> You, he's been here 17 years? Yeah. I don't know. What do we think? You, know, you verify everything with him? Yeah. He was the one who was going to pick me up. I was going to pick you up. Yeah, but then what happened? And then I said, I don't even pick Charlie Murphy up on here. <laughs> I said, let Bruce. I know Bruce was with you. I said, well, Bruce will take him. You didn't know anything everyone about knows, that. Everyone knows Bruce. Dude, it was in Variety that you met Bruce in the elevator. <laughs> he was, it was. It's like the Mick Jagger, Keith Richards story. He was going <laughs> to... It's like when they met on the train He was going to... Artie text me. He goes, I'll pick you up at... I'm like, Artie, please. That was Artie Fuqua. <laughs> no, I can take... I just take the fucking... I could I could have walked here. Well, why didn't you just say you'd do that? You're being all passive aggressive. Like, oh, uh, yeah, I guess I'll... I guess I'll walk. <laughs> and then I feel fucking obligated. It's just you... You're the only... You know, you're big... You are a lot like Norm. You just spin everything around. No, so the that, only... So, you're so the that big, you're not wrong. You're the biggest... He got that from me. <laughs> the biggest prima donnas are you and the two chicks from Broad City. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they Broad say they, my wife loves that show too. Oh so anyway, so what's going that's on? That's why Lenny left because he thought he'd be. Uh, he'd Lenny go. left because he thinks he's got all the answers. Did he Lenny's a, like a Len, Lenny's like any other fucking guy who lives in New York and who's lived in the same apartment for twenty years. He's like he's got all the answers. Hey, but if he has all the answers, why is he asking Dante? <laughs> exactly. You know that story. Oh my God, Dante came in and told us that story. I said, first of all, you're giving a guy chick advice. Dante can't walk. <laughs> but Dante's a tough guy. He's a real deal, but he thinks he No, he used to be a pimp, so he get he helped right, out a Lenny. Real, a real pimp. I'll tell Bruce the story. Lenny was Lenny was having problems. Why do you need the microphone? Why do I have to come out of the bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> if you and Bruce were gonna talk, you just wanna rent the apartment? <laughs> so anyway, Lenny had a By the uh, way, I'm making a... Six hundred grand a year off this. Can I? Can I do? Uh, so you to tell Bruce a story. That's what I'm making. <laughs> so anyway, Lenny. Lenny was having problems with his girlfriend. So and Lenny was. He's not really a man. Lenny's not a man. Kind of a man. Right, his girlfriend had a pussy. Lenny went to Dante and he asked Dante for help. So Dante. <laughs> Len, oh my god. So Lenny can't. Oh my god. I do this with any story involving Dante. <laughs> so Lenny can. Uh, Mm. 
You're, so you're so Lenny comedian. can't Lenny can't mention Dante's name around his girlfriend because Why? she was she got so mad at what happened Why? what went down because she because he, he felt like he was humiliated she was humiliated because the story what did got you out. Say? I the, mentioned I talked about you got me very mad at me I never met her. The story got out. I think I don't know who, who mentioned it, but the story got out. I so. did. It was on our podcast. You and replayed Dante, it. <laughs> Dante oh, they got out because Dante told the story here. Yeah, yeah. but Dante must have told the story other places. He has his own podcast. All right, there's no way he could have heard it here. Go ahead. Yeah, he How told, many, it, he he told has it five thousand. He told listeners? it here on the last mash. Oh my God. <laughs> you can't win here because it's like every time I look at him, he's, he's got shit coming out of his nose. No, it's they're disgusting. laughing at the last mash, not my sneezing. <laughs> they're laughing at my wit. <laughs> last mash. Is- Come on! I know, but he was writing all these down. I was we were waiting an hour from the. Oh, I haven't written his... something down since the eighties. <laughs> Dan waiting. writes it down. <laughs> we we're waiting an hour. Look at this. By the way, can I? Who make... cleans up? Do you what? clean up for yourself? Or you make Dan clean Look up. Look straight ahead. <laughs> I uh, no, I, honestly, is the Mexican come today? She came yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I have to come today. I, she'll come every day. Anyway, I. Uh, when was the last time you had sex? Uh, I'm fucking you right now. <laughs> no, but for real. I don't know. She said she loved dirty work. She was married, lived in Jersey City. <laughs> Has a couple of kids that look like me. Chubby. My kid. wife wouldn't fuck you, though. I don't want that. She wouldn't even fucking tell. And tell looks great compared to you. Did tell try to kiss her? Tell's like a fucking p- playboy, playgirl. I have a, I'm doing a show with a tell called where he's my tell in, uh, in poker. And I get an ace, and he comes behind me and goes, "Good card." <laughs> I don't even get it. Because you're a pussy. You never heard of a tell? No, I've never, yeah, I've heard of a tell. But not, not David Tell, a tell in poker. Yeah. Well, he's gonna be my tell is David Tell. Yeah. It's a pun on words. And then you're gonna do a whole show about a tell walking no, by. No, it's you? more of a meme. <laughs> All right, well, that will work. <laughs> I'm sure your five thousand fans will pay seven dollars. It's more of for a that. vine. <laughs> No, I have 5,000 fans who pay for it. We have 400,000 who steal it. <laughs> <laughs> no, go right ahead. What were you talking about? I wasn't talking Dante about Dante and uh, Lenny. So yeah, you so do the show. Uh, by the way, I have a big announcement. I have a new uh, co-host, oh Lenny Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, he quit, no, a, he quit a hit show and joined the fucking bomb. No, and it was funny because he quit my show, and then they were, there was the room. There was a rumor going around uh, the comedy cellar that he was, no, there wasn't. He, was doing a, he was doing his own show, and it was already taken off, and it wasn't even released yet. That's Let's how see, hot it was. How down? How down on the rumor mill was that uh, uh, behind Greer getting a waitress pregnant, and me killing, and then Atel doing my meme, and then uh, you and Lenny breaking up. That's like not even on the rumor list. Me having to get up for what someone on guy code at the t- <laughs> get up. Get. <laughs> that is a pretty good ass. Kevin Brennan is coming. <laughs> Jerry and Keith. Kevin Brennan knows somebody who knows Charlie Murphy. Right, I, I'm going to try to get serious for a second. Chuck Bruce is my call. Uh, okay, I, in 1993-ish, I, I walk into Stand Up New York and I see Kevin doing stand up comedy, and I said to myself, I'll never be as funny as this guy. This is what, he's one of the funniest guys like ever. He really is. I can't even look at him when I'm saying this. Uh, but <laughs> it's no, such a lie. No, it is. No, it's not a lie. I, th- he was so fucking funny. It's just like a natural funny uh, way. And, and what said, happened? What happened? Nothing. I don't, there's no punchline. I said I'll never be as funny as this guy. I was going to be funny and say like by the next year I was funnier, but uh, I'm not. I said my only chance is that I look like Belushi. Maybe I'll get on a show and then another show. No, uh, I, one time at Stand Up New York, I just done a, a Comedy Central presents, you know, and it, I didn't like it. So uh, I, I don't even know uh, um, Artie. So uh, still, he goes, <laughs> he goes. Uh, I walk by him. He goes, Hey, I liked your Comedy Central presents. I almost punched him in the fucking head because I thought he was mocking me. That wasn't that's me. How, yeah, that's how, that's how fucking... Uh, that was Horatio Sands. <laughs> uh, Horatio Sands, that okay. guy. No I, 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 no, I probably did like it. No, I, you I, did, but it was. I think it was because you're, you weren't like a stand-up at the time. You, ne- you really didn't do... St- you never did stand-up for real, though, right? Uh, well, for a well, living? I, well, sh- of course I did. I'm making 50 grand of the thing. Why don't you just why don't you just give us your W twos? <laughs> why don't you just do another Facebook Live fucking thing that wakes me up? No, but you didn't do stand up. <laughs> I know. I'm sleeping. Dan In goes. Dan sleeping, goes. I'm Dan goes. Uh, Dan goes. Yeah, Artie's on another call. I'm like he sleep calls. Like what the fuck is that? He's on no, another Dan call. Knows, like he's the worst liar ever. Dan knows that uh, it's usually about an hour before people give up and leave. Usually people have something else to do. <laughs> 
I'm like, he has nothing else to go to? <laughs> I would have def- I would have definitely left, but we live so close. You we're like I mean, ten he- minutes, we're ten minutes away, and I got it, and Bruce gave me a ride. Bruce Springsteen gave me a ride. <laughs> I know, I said, doesn't Bruce have something to do? <laughs> and uh usually like like uh, even Dante goes, Well fuck it, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I, I the reason I didn't want to I didn't I never did it before even though it's easy and convenient yeah you have over five thousand listeners is because <laughs> now, do you have any shows do you have any shows that we nobody even, even gives wait, a do, shit do I say any, the worst shit on my podcast yeah. nobody even cares do you have any I shows? trash people that could like Ben Bailey I trash people that could literally wait beat the fuck out you of trash, me oh you mean physically beat you up <laughs> yeah biz like literally just beat me up well you. No, I say it that's as a make joke. Ben, I that's say it like happy. I, 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 I no, I joke. say like like Stern fans say Baba Booey. You know what I mean? Like I have to say it once a show, or else they don't know if it's anyone me. Anyone knows what that means. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, I, I, I had something funny to say. I forgot. Not only you're not being funny, you're making me forget funny stuff. <laughs> First now, of all, it doesn't even have to be funny. Why are you, are you, you worried about show? being funny? Huh? I don't know because I have yeah, to I'm pay on. rent. <laughs> Not what am I going to get by my looks? <laughs> you, go, I, you get 50000 How much is the rent here? Oh it's all God. from funny shit. Yeah, but you already get 50000 a gig. You don't even need this stupid fucking... Is this a podcast or it's not I fast? pay for everything. <laughs> <laughs> are you on any shows that are hit where you didn't buy the equipment? <laughs> <laughs> Your stand-up, how's that going? Terrible. <laughs> my, you know, mine is too. But no, I, I, mine I was is trying too. to be serious. Supposed to, he's supposed to go, no, you're doing great. No, no, mine is Mine is too. too. Mine is going well. It's going as do, it's doing as well as Charlie Murphy's. Yeah. Maybe I'll pick up some of his slack. Well, actually, okay. Can you be at the Stand Up New York Tuesday at 10? Probably. Then you got it. No, listen. I got it. We're done, That's with, too we're bad. done with the Charlie Murphy story. <laughs> That's too bad, though. <laughs> that literally just happened in the yeah, last he, hour? He was, a, he was a nice guy. But you know he was sick? No. No. I but didn't. you said, like, leukemia, like everybody knew. Like, everybody knew he had leukemia. I took a, I took a guess. But it is funny that I'm here with Artie, who's had some issues. Why is that health funny? issues. Well, and, then, and then Charlie Murphy, you think a guy who like, I have, I have the same black disease he had. He looks. Gr- I mean, Charlie Murphy looks great. Maybe because he was he's doing that. No, because no. he lost a lot of weight from the leukemia. He, has, he still those, looked great. Those black guys with no hair. Uh, I don't know everywhere, but uh, he. Uh, but he, he always looked real thin. And he looks exactly and like handsome. Eddie Murphy. He looked like Eddie but Murphy, hand, but taller and thinner. Eddie Murphy, if he got famous twenty years later, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> instead was a buck private. And in the what end. are you watching? That's Selena Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Charlie Murphy. <laughs> We're watching one of those We're kids commercials. Unicef. Fifteen dollars a month, We're or else, Unicef. or else you could subscribe Look, to Artie's show. There's Judd Nelson. <laughs> For, you can help these kids for fifteen dollars a month. Or you can sign up. You sign Wanda up for Kumia and Artie, Artie Lang's show. We did and that. then you have a dollar left. We did that joke the day after we charged everyone. <laughs> so you'll, you'll excuse me. Artie so never that's like lets- a rap parody. No, go on. What's your joke? The UNICEF, same price. Oh, my God. He won't even let you. <laughs> but we you're did worst, it already. You're the worst host ever. We did it already. Not when I have a virus. <laughs> he's fucking, he snots, and I wait it's for an hour. If, and then right, he just, right, he just, right, Bruce. It's as if we rehearsed it, but we didn't. He's warming up, and then he comes out of his bathroom. I think he's like dead, and then he comes out just insults <laughs> me for 15 minutes. You know what will wake he's the like dead? He's like a fucking. If you have a dead relative, you want to wake them up? Do you want to tell a Rickles? Do you want to tell no, a Rickles one story? Second. I'm trying to be Rickles. Uh, if you have a dead relative and you want to wake them up, have uh, have Kev Facebook Live 10 feet from him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the East Coast swing of the tour. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I why was did you excited. Put, why did you put I had some the, caffeine. He puts John Lennon glasses on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, we're, we're very excited. Me and the wife are expecting another one. That's not Uncle true. Uncle Neil is coming over. That's not true. Do you know Neil? Yeah, of course I know Neil. Yeah. From what? Show business. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, you you never worked with him on anything, Kevin, have you? Nope. Nope. It didn't get picked up. Didn't uh, get picked up. <laughs> no, we, we each got 800 grand. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know I've never worked with him anything, but um, I, I, I will say, I'm trying to say that uh, Kev is, is much funnier than his brother, oh, uh, please. Ted. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, no I, as, a sta- as a stand up, you are. For half an hour. As a stand up, you are. No, my, I said this the other day. I go, my, I go, I'm great and I still suck. That's why I see all these stand ups who. Yeah, have, no, I walk in this he's, he's a really funny stand up. No, I see these all these Facebook uh, stand ups, you know, with the holding their microphone, their Facebook picture. Oh, it's I'm terrible. like, I'm like, they, I know they all stink. I know they stink. Well, compared and to And they you, think they they're great. They think they're great because they just started. They're two years in. They think, no. like, I got a couple funny jokes. I do good at an open mic from time to time. I'm like, 
That don't mean anything. I so. try to tell these kids. I, honestly, when do you talk to the kids? It, 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 when do you talk to the kids? When I'm at your real. house. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, it's when I see them. Uh, I say, just you calm down. <laughs> if I can compliment you, give me two seconds. I, I, th- th- these kids now, uh, name a big kid who's a big uh, comic. Charlemagne. Right, Champagne Charlemagne from the, the Black... Uh, but is he a comic? I thought he was a DJ. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll pick another kid. Uh, <laughs> Zach They Braff. don't even know who Zach he is. Braff. Kid Charlemagne? <laughs> <laughs> like, people know Kid Charlemagne. She's the one, he's the one Hillary Clinton told she had hot sauce in her purse. <laughs> was uh, she? That was the guy? Yeah, could you imagine? Anyway, so any any comic now, pick one. That's like a, some big, like, hot, like, what turn? They're not even in the league of Kevin Brennan. Not in the league. When he, in 1993, they wouldn't be in the league. I mean, Kevin was... 1993, I was not doing well. You were great. In 95, Off 96, stage. I was good. Oh, that's what I saw you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, 96, I, I was good. 97, 90, no, you, 98, I, I was on fire. Why don't I just like, let you run with this? 2004. All I you have to do is go, I remember Kevin was good, and then and he takes it. <laughs> yeah, but you... You're, yeah, giving, exact, never, you're, you're giving years and months... <laughs> Yeah, but you never. I was good in July. On the fourth of July, ninety-five, I was good. Yeah, but you never. Arbor at Day, the, I sucked. You were never at the clubs. Like you were like a just cat. You were never at the clubs. I never saw you at the clubs. Uh, now them's fighting words. <laughs> Dave just cat, by the way, says he's got a big uh, uh, connection for PBA cards. He gives me. He, he didn't tell me that it was only if you make an illegal left out of a diner. <laughs> <laughs> not if you get busted not, in your apartment. Not if you have four hundred pounds worth of speedball in your fucking hatchback. <laughs> then the Dave just got PBA guard. Oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. <laughs> yeah, Maybe it's more, uh, it's more for parking and illegal. Way, <laughs> yeah. Just got on chair. Never. Never. He's not crashing. I know. I know. A lot of people were Greer Barnes. A lot of people have no careers. Wrong. Well, Greer's uh, Greer's like you. He's unbelievably funny with no career. I got a phone call. Who's calling, Vinny Brand? You better get a megaphone. It's a 201 number. Is someone in your building? You better get a megaphone. Vinny! What is Vinny talking I'll about? I'll take Friday! What does Vinny talk about when he's here? Just his, his club? Well, it's, it depends on how the fastest sign language gets across. Are you selling, are you selling tickets at Stress Factor? You're big in New Jersey, I don't right? Do stress Factor, the state seat around the block. Or just around the block, if you just go around the block. If you're done at the stretch uh, factory by ten, uh, when you're there next, you can probably open for me. <laughs> Wait, does he sell tickets at the stretch factory? I gotta take a diabetic piss. Uh, what? Do I sell it out in like a, de- a second? That's let's let's do it. Can we put up a show and set, see how many tickets he sells? You're really leaving already? I gotta take a piss. <laughs> how long is this gonna take? <laughs> Bruce, you're on the air. Too bad we can't take callers. Like, no, too bad we can't take callers. Like, uh, 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 what do we got? Uh, uh, Bruce from Yonkers. <laughs> what do you got on the Yankees? <laughs> anyway, so I got no Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy died, and uh, that's I guess that's sad. But uh, usually when black people die early, it's from uh, uh, diabetes or leukemia. I mean, or diabetes or sickle cell. But he, they said he had leukemia. Talking to the mic, Bruce. What, he had leukemia? They said that, that was his word. He had leukemia, right? Yes. But everyone knew he had leukemia? No. So nobody knew. And then he, was, he kept... <laughs> oh, you know what? You got to keep it quiet because then you won't get gigs. Yeah. Isn't that fucked up? Yep. Yeah, they won't hire you, right? If they think... Uh, right. If you have some issues. So I can't get hired. I have no, <laughs> I have no health issues. I like Except my AIDS. Artie Lang leaves and Bruce the web guy as a replacement. <laughs> no, I, I don't like to I don't like just talk to myself like I'm a fucking idiot. There's people here. You guys are human beings. You know you don't even need to talk. Just chime in from time to time. Yeah. Artie, you can go take a <laughs> Lenny would quit Big Bang Theory. Lenny's a fucking idiot. No, if his girlfriend told him to quit Big Bang, he would quit Big Bang. Because that's the way he is. He's like one of those guys. You're like, you know what? I, I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to. I want to. I, ha- I, I want to have a happy marriage, right. even though he has he has no career. He has a worse career than I do, and that's hard to do. <laughs> but he'd be like, no, you know what? She said she she doesn't want me traveling to because she would say, don't go to the West Coast. She don't want him traveling. Uh, right, Bruce? You know all this, right? Yeah, I mean, well, you've been bashing Lenny for like a year now. But he brought it up. You haven't found one person to back you up against. Like on, I know. On your, no, some guy tweeted. On your side. Some guy tweeted the other guy. He he goes. He goes. You hate Tom Papa and Lanny, and everybody loves those. Both those. <laughs> everybody loves both those guys. I go. Yeah, maybe it's me. I don't give a fuck. Maybe it is me. 
But Artie's, like Artie's, 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 I love Artie. You know, when he's not trashing me, I didn't know he's going to be. <laughs> I know he's gonna be he so, wasn't trashing you. No, he comes out. He's in the bathroom. I think he's going to get off to a slow start because I thought he just woke up. <laughs> so I thought he didn't get his coffee yet. He comes at me like he's fucking full throttle. I'm like, holy, he's worse than a towel. <laughs> so I thought we we're going to have a friendly conversation about like shit we've known and the uh, different Arties, Artie Lang, Artie Fuqua, the Arties of, the, of, the, of New Jersey, maybe bring up a Vinnie Brand story. Maybe bring up a Norm McDonald story. Maybe bring up a Howard. No, Man, I'm not I can hear up. the cancellations from here. Huh? I can hear it. If that's what you thought it was going to be, I could hear the cancellations. But from they here. don't want to hear it? The fans don't want to hear it? No, nobody wants to hear a Vinny Brand story. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm with you there. <laughs> now, when Vinny's on my show, the numbers drop. Anyway, uh, so so that's what Artie does. Artie just, whoever comes over, he just he just attacks them. No. No, but he, he does what he's doing now. He basically gives he gives the, the guest shit. No, not really. <laughs> All right, so this is, but this is a normal show, right? He just, he yes. just one lines it. Yeah. Okay. No, I thought he was going. <laughs> I've never listened to the show. No. It looks like a wedding dress covered in. Give me seven dollars, no. <laughs> you guys won't even. You won't give me a free uh, month. <laughs> no. As a sample. Yeah. Well, I'll it's send you. Se- you it's seven dollars a month. Yeah. And and uh, is it like uh, girls going wild when you guys when they try to cancel? You guys don't let them cancel. No, we can. They can cancel whatever they want. Yeah, that's what They're, he said. Yeah, that's what girls go. <laughs> and then he went to jail. So anyway, huh? That guy went to jail. Right? No, he went to jail because people would sign yeah. up for Girls Gone Wild, and then they would cancel <laughs> when they got married. When they got Lennyized, when his when their wife was like, "What are you paying for Girls Gone Wild when you're married?" Because yeah, because you're because you don't you know, you're not a whore. I need I need some whore some whoring in my life. I said women don't women don't get that guys need. We're not pigs. We just right. need a little bit of a whore uh, uh, taste <laughs> or something. You know, you know, like women go like, why do you go to a strip club? Because they're, cause they're whores. <laughs> and, and guys like to be around whores. And then they go home and they fuck their respectable wives or whatever. Or girlfriends. But Lenny, Lenny won't even. He, he's never been to a strip club. He would hear stories. Of, I would say, yeah, I was at a strip club. And uh, I, you know, I spent three hundred dollars. He goes, "Oh my God! Why, why would you do?" I'm like, "Yeah, because you get drunk, and then, and then the girls, you know, they fucking talk to you, and then you end up spending a lot of money. But that's that's how it goes, you know. So it's worth it, huh? It's worth it. Do you go? Yeah. But you used to live in China, right? I lived in Japan for a while. Uh, same time. <laughs> no, but do they have do they do they have strip clubs over there? Yeah, they got. Yeah. Are they good? Yeah. It's like uh, it's a weird kind of thing. Like you, you is go, it mostly a massage thing where it's like no, it's they they got it's weird because they got them both ways. They've got like the strip clubs for the men, and then all the kind of strippers go to a club where they talk to men after that. So I, I we can't fathom that here. But wait, so you 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 see the stripper, and then you go to the strip club, and then you go to There's a different club to podcast, talk to them. In yeah. the podcast instruction book, don't they say talking to the microphone the very first <laughs> fucking thing? Yeah. Sorry, this is my first uh, my first podcast here. Thank God I brought you, Bruce. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, they, basically it's they call them like hostess clubs and host clubs, and you go, you sit down next with to the somebody. stripper. Yeah, but it's like it's they make it like a date kind of thing. So, like, but you have to pay to talk to them. It's it kind of like you pay to pay for the drinks or whatever. Yeah. You sit down. But then do you have sex with them or no? No. Well, what do, what do you do? What do, what do, and they're and they have their clothes on? No, yeah, pr- pretty much. It's, uh, it's it's not like it is here. Like, it, it's, yeah, it's more it's fun a, here, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like a, like a like a party here. Like you go. You yeah, you get party. drunk and then you blow your money. Like Lenny, a lot of people can't. Lenny can't see that, and, and wives can't see that any either. You know what I mean? They can't. They don't understand why you would go to see naked women. Like guys like naked women. Period. Especially if they're wearing high heels. <laughs> Like guys just like that, you know. So that's the way it is. But but yeah, I don't know. I don't know how these bachelorette parties work, but uh, they have them, right? They have female. What do you mean? Don't they have things like it used to be like Chippendales or whatever? Oh yeah. But I never met a girl that. Aaron ever. Berg used to be from uh, the Kum- <laughs> <laughs> from the Kumia Network. He used to be he used to be a stripper. Yeah. But it's yeah, not I the same. That. It's not the same thing because they don't even ha- they don't even have strip clubs. They don't even have strip clubs. You Where? know what I mean? Hold on. Yeah, I love Charlie. Always have loved Charlie. I still love Charlie. Sometimes, like an older brother, you got to go upside their head, you know? And I had to go upside his head a couple times. You know, Charlie came out of the Navy, and, uh, you know, he was young, coming out of the Navy. His brother was doing pretty good in movies and stuff. 
But, you know, he's hanging out with the big dogs, you know. You know, Charlie didn't know he was doing crazy things, and I had to straighten him out. Where's the, Dan, you leaving? I like how you guys laugh at everything uh, Artie says. Well, let me explain it I do a joke. You guys all look at me like, what? Well, it was a fucking joke. Obviously, Artie. Dan says you're bitching about it. I got to go somewhere. No, I got to pick up my kids. I got kids. Could you imagine having kids with your schedule? I Artie? do have kids, but I, I know how to handle a woman. <laughs> I say, go get them. I'm doing the fucking Brennan podcast. <laughs> can't believe you. I, you just know? imagine Artie with kids. I, I have kids. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Have don't. you? You never. Been, oh, you were married though, right? For a couple of you months. You know that fat, that chubby, that chubby Schwarzenegger kid. It turns out it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> the maid. The were you ever? Kid. Ma- were you ever engaged? <laughs> yes, I was. How, were you ever married? Uh, it was a fifth gauge. Uh, yeah, no, I never got married. No, I was engaged. I, I yeah, you sound like you're Puerto Rican. I was engaged. I was the Puerto Ricans do. They get engaged. I, I never get a married. A TV deal. If that was the case. Uh, no, I uh, I got almost married twice. I rented a ring for twenty five thousand dollars for a week. To who? Uh, the well, same no, person. I bought it from I bought it from a wise guy at the port. He charged me fucking fifty grand, and I took it to the Hasidim on Forty Seventh Street. The guy said, uh, "You have a two hundred thirty seven thousand dollar rock." I said, "Okay," and the guy said to me, he "Goes, you better not let me. I better not hear you sold this fucking thing. It better when I'm at the wedding. It better be on her finger." I'm like, "Okay, no problem." So I go to Turks and Caicos with this Italian chick. The Italian uh, fucking ghetto in Patterson. That's where she grew up. She beautiful, petite, Carmen Electra type body, but she argued like dice clay. She, you fat fuck. That's what <laughs> she I was. like her already. Yeah, yeah. She was unbelievable. She was very funny. Uh, she'd be good for your podcast. But then uh, that, that, we go to Turks and Caicos. I get. I spent thirty grand on this room. Puff Daddy was in the room the, the, the week before. I, there was. I knew because there were no forks. Then we get there <laughs> and uh, <laughs> screaming and yelling, and she leaves early. And I had the rock I bought for 50 grand. I didn't even mount it. Talk about, I was that afraid of commitment. I was rolling around my bag, uh, just a rock. I was going to ask her <laughs> New Year's Eve and then say, I'll get it mounted now if you say yes. And uh, I took it back to the fucking guy at the port. And the, the true story, the guy says to me, he goes, I'll give you 25 grand. I go, I paid 50 grand for it. He goes, well, that's it, man. He goes, now the price is 25 grand. And I couldn't sell it anywhere else. He was like, tell it. Yeah, so but why would you buy it for 50 grand from the guy? Where'd you grow up, Indiana? Anyway, uh, because it was a $237,000 rock. According to him. No, I see them. I took it to the re- the guys on 47th Street. Oh, I thought you said it was $237. While you, bu- while you were busy doing a gig with fucking Lenny, I was living in the real world. Not all of us had a spot at the comic strip at 1030 every Tuesday. I had to fucking work. And look where it led. I'm interviewing you in my fucking attic. <laughs> it's a nice place, though. I know. <laughs> I know. Here's my impression. I'm doing great. Of, here's my impression of an asshole actor. You ready? Just say, say, excuse me, Mr. Lang. I saw you in that movie. No. Just say, say, excuse me, Mr. Lang. Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Thank Lang. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, well, this is uh, hard work. Bought this fucking place. What do you think? Hard work. Yeah, a lot of hard work. I like guys when they like, yeah, the show business. It's not. There's nothing hard about it. Well, not, what do you? Well, what, what did I grow up rich? I, of course, I had more hard jobs than you had. What'd you do for a living? I caddied. Yeah, that's what you're doing now. <laughs> you were a caddy? Oh, my God. Where, though? But that's like one of those like rich kid jobs. Did you ever? Yeah, uh, I was a rich kid. I loaded trucks. For how long? Two years. Uh, and that's why I look at these hands. I'm like Tony. They are ugly hands. I'm like Tony Quinn in the, in the, the 12 Bay. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> I'm a poor fisherman from Cyprus. No, they're not good hands. Well, this is from diabetes. For real? You have diabetes? High blood sugar. My high, yeah, high blood oh, sugar. You can't get a break. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> With your lifestyle, you picked up diabetes on top of everything else. I said to the doctor, it was going to cost all these money. First of all, you can't even go to the doctor, I can cost, you? I cost all this money for these tests uh, for diabetes. And I said to the guy, okay, look, what are the chances I don't have diabetes? <laughs> let's just fucking say, let's save everybody some fucking oh money. Hand over the insulin. So you have to take medicine? I got insulin pens. Insulin is legal unless you take it in bulk like I do. <laughs> <laughs> My blood sugar. Uh, he gets arrested by the cops. He goes, "It's insulin." They go, "Right, right, I right." Took, I took my blood. Right. I took my blood sugar uh, this morning. It was uh, higher than a Babe Ruth's lifetime slugging percentage. Uh, it's like now, Captain where, Crunch in there. Where are you from? I'm f- don't worry about me. 
It's not an interview. Uh, I'm interviewing you on my podcast. No, we're just doing we're just a couple of stand-ups. I I'm not going to say where I live. My wife doesn't want people knowing couple, where. Who are you, Paul Provenza? We're just a couple of stand-ups hanging out? Yeah, we're a couple of stand-ups. Another, is, guy, who is, hasn't, is another Bo, guy who hasn't done stand-up in 50 years. Is Bo broken? You never, when did you start doing stand-up? What year, what year for real? When you, were getting met, when you were getting paid money. It wasn't until uh, like 2000, right? No. Yeah, I, would, I love these guys who study my career. They're like, we never saw you at the club. There's no, you weren't around with Mike Royce. Maybe not all of us have to fucking uh, hang around. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, you, Rich Voss for 14 hours to learn to understand. That. Yeah, because you were so good, you just skipped all the. You, I didn't go to the club. You skipped I, you the know, club. When you're in every club where you get good at stand up. Huh? I was I was in Jersey doing it. I wasn't with you guys making fun of. Where were you in Jersey? I don't know, but uh, I was. I don't making, know. You don't even know. I the wasn't names. making fun of uh, uh, your, your corduroy pants. Sorry. I was working. There were no distractions by all your funny. Yeah, because you didn't. You, ne you never did. You never. T is that the diabetes kicking in? Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> Artie's clearing his nose. Oh my god. There must be like you can't touch anything in here, right? We're all infected. It's like it's you might. Like you might touch success. It's like that zombie movie. Success might rub off on you. The DNA in this Let place. Let me clear my nose. Ah. The DNA in here must be crazy. Yeah. You got crazy DNA with the snots. No, with the kids. Ugh. Anyway. Anyway. So All right, we got to wrap this up soon. All right, where are you going? I got to go pick up my kids. You got to scream at your phone somewhere? Huh? You got to go somewhere else? No, I got to go pick up my scream kids. Scream at your phone? <laughs> Ten more minutes. Your smartphone or huh? your smart kids? What time we got here? Uh, 2.30. Oh, I'm sorry. Late? I mean, 2.30 hey, it's four past? It's 4.20. Let's hear your hacky weed shit. What do you mean my hacky it's weed It's 4.20. Shit? Let's hear your hacky oh. weed stuff. <laughs> <laughs> time to get out the bowl. Honestly, you're, no, you're, I was watching that show, the uh, Doug Benson show. It's about to, I know. Oh my god, it's looks, awful! Right, looks terrible. I just saw a clip, Doug and Benson. it's just like guys get guys getting high. Wait a minute, a unless, sitcom? No, unless you're high, unless you're high, you I think know. it's like dumb. I know, I know. Oh, so I'm like watching. I'm like, oh, he's funny, and Todd Glass is funny, but they're just like. Oh, high. Todd Glass is hilarious. No, but they're just. I, I agree. I think Todd Glass is. Really no, but they're just high, and then they, then from the out, if you're not high, you're watching like, oh, these guys are fucking. Morons. Is that well? That, that's what happens. Some, no, the, the high thing. court. It's the high court. It's oh. a it's Comedy Central show. <laughs> no, it's a great idea. It's a fucking great idea. What idea but, is that? No, it's like they. Like you're supposed to Why, pretend you're high. No, it, it's like it's is like it Louis' idea. That's why you like it. No, it's like when, like when uh, Dean Martin pretended he was drunk or Foster Brooks uh, pretended he was drunk. Was you, know, so you don't rough. get high. You pretend you're high. Right? So they like, really get high? Like you pretend you do drugs. You don't do drugs. I haven't done heroin in years. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're like the worst habit to Mike Costello. You set it up and then talk over it. It's like, uh, who's on first? I don't yeah, know. Ah! <laughs> we didn't rehearse because you were, you were taking a phone call for two hours. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> At least I wasn't Facebooking. That was so obnoxious. That might have been the most obnoxious I was thing trying to get your. I was trying to get you out of the room. At I least have, I figured I'd get some publicity out of it. Pa publicity. Artie's high in the room. Are there any cops near this address? No, I said. Bruce, I, what address is it? Are there any cops? It was a joke. Yeah. Yeah. I you, was going to give out your address. We couldn't find it on our GPS. You sounded like a fucking real, uh, like like Jerry Lewis on Arsenio Hall or something. Listen, I'm going to take it to Paris, and then we're going to do it in New York. And then I'm playing Mr. Peabody here in the, in the, at the uh, Wait, Paper Mill Playhouse. Wait, let me ask you a question. What's the... <laughs> When you when you're the highest you've ever been, when you do stand up, does it affect you or no? Do, do you forget your jokes? Do you, does it affect you in any way? Yeah. Does it I, fuck up your timing? Well, you more so forget your jokes. Yes, of course it does. How would it not? I how? know that's what I'm saying. So how do you do it? How do you? How do you but I'm saying so when you when you're when you're high, just fake it. Like you don't have to do the high core. You just pretend you're high, so, right, Bruce? So wait, they really get high? No, I don't know. They they're like doing. Well, so why are you saying that? They're doing bong hits. They're doing bong hits, and then they're like, I think they lit. They watch the. They watch. Um, <laughs> they watch. This is like unbelievably. You no know, waiting for Guffman. They watch. <laughs> waiting, waiting for Kevin to say something interesting. So so Dan, they I think they listen to a truck. They listen to a case. They listen to a case, and then they go back. They they go behind the scenes, Wait, and then they well, they get high. A court case? Yeah, they, they yeah court or like a real. I think it's mostly like small claims, like joke cases, oh. but or maybe like drug cases. But it's just, and then they, and then, then that's it. You know, huh? And then they go backstage, they do bong hits, and then they, they like. So you don't like it? No, but they they're high, so it's not. It's, what not, do you it's like, like if you're high, maybe it's funny. If you're there, it's funny. What do you like? What are your favorite shows on TV? Right? Judge Judy. I like a real fucking strict she judge. I like, I like Jean Janine Pyro. Oh, she's hot, right? 
Did you ever? She was a real judge in the Bronx. Did you ever run into her in some of your travails? Yeah, she gave me. She suspended it. <laughs> no, she she was she was she got fake tits now, but she got real tits. And uh, Howard was friends with her, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, there was a rumor that they, uh, you know, huh, huh. they did something. Yeah, they had a meeting. Well, you know, before he had been to his uh, wife, uh, they, <laughs> supposedly they dated. Yeah. Oh right. Right, right. right. Janine Pyro. And then she was, yeah, she was, right? I tell you, a lot of chicks came in there, you know, uh, and uh, hit on that with a lot of these hot chicks, like, uh, uh, you know, these famous hot chicks who got nothing going on. So you, you realize that a lot of them are just whores. It's so funny. Like, they just really want money. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, and also, you get it, they got publicity being around uh, Howard. Absolutely. There we so go. why not fuck them? Yeah. And he, you know, uh, well, he was with Beth by that. This, uh, he, had, he really didn't do anything. I didn't see anything of like that. But he could have, he could have fucked some of the re- real famous, like hot blondes. Who, and you realize that list is long. Like, that, like, like take Carmen Electra. Like, what does she really have going on? You know, she. Needs- they don't have any gigs, so right. it's exactly. the next gig. They're always trying you, to get a next gig. What are you yelling at me for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. No, they they have a gig and then they got to get a next gig. So it's they not got like a steady going. job. Exactly. And fucking De- like look at Carmen Electra with fucking Dennis Rodman. What a, that's an insanely great publicity stunt. Yeah, who's when he not was gonna wearing, follow them? When he was wearing the dress. Yeah, of course. He told us that she put a strap on him, fucked him in the ass, and uh, I couldn't. I said, listen, you're not you're not using her right. That's fucking. Could you imagine <laughs> telling her to put a strap on on? And uh, and he, she gets he, she fucks him in the ass. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't do that. Uh, no, I would do it just to hear that fucking guy scream. <laughs> well, you mean you would? I do would it? fuck Dennis Rodman. What would Rodman. you do? Oh, you would. Well, you I'd fuck any guy. Would you need a strap as, on? If well, as long as it wasn't my dick, because then you're not gay. Well, then what are you doing? You're just you're just <laughs> having fun. Are you watching them? It's like a it's like a prank show. I would love. Uh, that wasn't my real dick. <laughs> an organ, uh, like like uh, Will Chamberlain was an organ donor, and uh, you know. I, Was he I, ever? I don't need a liver. <laughs> I want that other thing. Didn't he fuck a hundred thousand uh, Laker cheerleaders? Twenty thousand chicks in a twenty-year career. It's a thousand a year, three a and day. He, and he still didn't die of AIDS. It, well, and neither did Magic. Magic had AIDS and didn't die of it. Yeah, and neither Charlie Murphy. Okay. Yeah, he died of leukemia. He died of uh, leukemia. Luke Eriks. He died of Anthony Cumia. <laughs> <laughs> That's like when you're a D-lister and you don't say Letterman or Carson. You go, hey, I got Cumbia coming up. <laughs> uh, I'm, I just got on a show. I'm not supposed to mention it. You do the Anthony's show, don't great, you? Yeah, yeah, Anthony's a great guy. He was just mentioning oh, your show the other day. Because you talk about him and then I have to filter it. But uh, no, you're funny on that show. I, I, you don't I, even listen. No, I, I listen to his show. And I hear no, you, you don't. I've heard you plug your show in a lot of shows. <laughs> 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 I've heard you say your show is a hit everywhere. <laughs> No, I I, I'm trying to tell you. I guarantee if Kev is uh, on it, it's funny. There's no, there's no way it's not funny. I have a yeah, There's a way. I have adult problems. I can't spend money. What do you charge a month for my show? Yeah, I don't charge anything. <laughs> oh. But Cumbia is separate. How do you make same, money? Same as yours. Yeah, no, but Anthony makes a ton of money because he has all the skinhead business. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those guys don't know how to steal a show. <laughs> Figure, you tell them to steal a show. They could steal everything else. He's got the they, perfect demographic. They steal cars. <laughs> they steal radios. Too dumb. They steal radios to hear him on, <laughs> but they can't steal the actual content. That's, that might be true. Is that unbelievable? They can't figure. They can't figure out YouTube. They could steal the hardware, not the software. <laughs> exactly. Uh, my audience steals the software, and their parents buy them the hardware. <laughs> So Who are a, your fans? Who are your fans? Are they older? Well, older white people? Italian? Apparently Bruce uh, dying to get in here. Uh, no. I know you wouldn't trust Bruce because you, By you the way, thought he looks like a narc, right? He, he looks like an he, thought he, looks, I thought, I thought he was a cop for a little while. That's <laughs> for why a I, little while That's still. why I didn't come out. Dan that's went, why I went back to the bathroom. Well, no, Dan was texting me. I don't know. Website, whatever. <laughs> I know it sounds. Could he, he really? Lives, need, could he really need a website? He right. lives in my building and he does a website. Yeah. yeah okay. You hear the facts. Uh, knew of Kevin's podcast <laughs> and happened to fucking live in the same building as him. What are the odds of that? That's like hitting the fucking lottery. All right, we gotta go. You know what? How does it go again? Uh, I'll say <laughs> I got arrested in my car again. You know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Big Shot here, Mr. Al- Young Albert Brooks. Has no time, and when I set him up for it, that's why you're not big. No, you don't have bad luck when you get uh, arrested trying to break into your own car. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Brennan. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go get my kids. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm not shaking your hand or anybody's hand. I'm not touching anything on the way out. Yeah. 
you a baby gorilla. That's my wife mama. It wasn't even like it was close. It was a landslide victory. Game. Blouses. I was there. I seen it. You don't believe me? You think I'm making it up? You a baby gorilla. That's my wife mama. Uh, I'm doing the show today, uh, April 12th, 2017, the year of our Lord. Uh, it's sad news. Uh, Kevin Brennan is on the show. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. Um, uh, Charlie Murphy, uh, brother of Eddie Murphy. I mean, you know, even though he became a, a very popular comic in his own right through the Chappelle show, Eddie Murphy is that big of a star. You still see Eddie Murphy's brother. You would say that pretty much about anybody being his brother. Maybe not me. Because I don't think you'd want to be having that out in the public, the arena of publicity. No, um, Charlie Murphy was the older brother by one year of Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy made it big, and Charlie Murphy was in the service and then jail, Nassau County Jail. Uh, interesting guy. Looked exactly like Eddie Murphy, and uh, they were brothers. Very, uh, not a lot of hair. Uh, from Roosevelt, Long Island, where Howard's from, Dr. J's from, Public Enemy's from, there are a lot of celebrities from Roosevelt, Long Island. It's one square mile. Interesting. Something's in the water there. We mentioned that in the uh, in the interview. But uh, here's the interesting thing. People say, um, was Howard from uh, money? Did Howard Stern grow up uh, with, uh, with money? And I say no. And they're like, ah, you know, sometimes people bullshit you. I say, well, Roosevelt, Long Island is uh, a place that has three major celebrities come from. Uh, come from there and uh, you tell me if you think Howard's from a good neighborhood here are the three celebrities that come from Howard's hometown Howard Stern Flavor Flav (laughs) and Dr. J (laughs) (laughs) so you tell me if Howard's from a good neighborhood Uh, you know they all got out of there and made it big and uh, so anyway um, Charlie Murphy got on the Chappelle show did stand up like his brother. A very talented guy. No one's as talented as his brother. It's a problem. Yeah, the most talented person ever is his brother. <laughs> Bubble Hill. But uh, he got a break with going on the Chappelle show as a writer. And then, uh, again, they did a brilliant thing with the Chappelle show. As I mentioned this interview, you're about to hear with Charlie Murphy from my direct TV show, circa 2014. I'm going to say, or 13. 2000, 2013, he was plugging a gig, I think, in the city somewhere. Uh, our TV show he did. Caroline's, I he think. Did, yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, Good guess, Dan. It might have been an Ashton Kutcher TV show he did, though. So, uh, he made the difference. So I don't uh, I don't know. But he, he was in uh, town uh, long enough to plug our show, to do our show on direct TV, which, uh, you know, is one of the finer things. We got, uh, I was always a fan of his. And uh, he was in that cool studio. That's what he says when he comes in. He goes, damn. And he ain't talking about what I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the great studio we had downtown. So uh, you'll hear that I mentioned that they reinvented the sketch kind of with that show where they tell a story. You know, he came out of uh, the joint or uh, uh, army, which I think is the same thing in a lot of ways. Uh, he comes out and he starts hanging out with his brother who, while he was in there, I think uh, explodes overnight, became Eddie Murphy, like the Elvis of comedy. And uh, he noticed his brother, you know, Charlie Murphy being street smart as hell, noticed his brother was hanging around in the wrong places. That brought the wrong people. They all, all knew he had money. Become a mark. Uh, on a much smaller level, it happened to me. It still goes on. McGrath calls me at 4 a.m. <laughs> he compliments me. He goes, damn, Art, I saw you on TV. Your shirt's great. All right, Dan, I have I have $30. Come up here. That's his way of asking for $30. Man, Art, uh, he retweets yeah. everything. <laughs> Retweeted by Dan McGrath. Liked by Dan McGrath. Dan McGrath. Anything to get my, his name in my in my, in my my vision. And then I, he wants me to go, oh, Dan must need $30. <laughs> I love that United tweet, Artie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Man, I always knew you were funny, but you're really on tonight. <laughs> If people only knew how true that is. <laughs> Retweet. Man, are you being... I wasn't trying to be funny, though. Oh. Man, that tribute to Charlie Murphy. <laughs> Dude, I barely knew his work, and I'm crying. Dan, I have $30. <laughs> I text him that after you send him mentally, and I go, Dan, I have $30. He goes, be right up. <laughs> 
Well, what about the tribute to Charlie Murphy? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'll be thinking about that. Uh, I'll be thinking about that while I'm doing 90 miles an hour to your house. For $30. Five goes to gas. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. So Charlie Murphy, uh, you know, <laughs> looks like his brother. Not as talented as his brother, but uh, no one is. But talent in his own right. And him with Chappelle and the rest of the people there, I got to give him credit. The, the Rick James sketch is a perfect example. They got the real Rick James, which was hard to do at that point. And uh, put it this way, they're lucky they got him at that point. Yeah. He was on his way out. And uh, so was Charlie, I guess. Eddie Murphy, I, still, I think, still does not know about it. <laughs> I think two of his assistants know about yeah. it. But anyway, tribute to Charlie Murphy. Here's Charlie Murphy on my direct TV show, The Artie Lang Show. For the best studio ever with uh, Dan Flotta, producer. From about 2013. And uh, fond memories. Rest in peace, buddy. I'll probably see you soon. Hey, welcome back to the Artie Lang Show from New York City. I'm sitting here with one of the funniest guys around. Formerly of the Chappelle Show. Great stand-up. Yeah. Great man from a great family. The great Charlie Murphy. What's up, Charles? Charlie Murphy. What's going on? Charlie Murphy. Going? What's going on? I don't know if you remember. We met before. I was on yeah, the Howard yeah, Stern yeah, yeah. show Most, when yeah. you were there a couple times. And right. I, I met you one night up at Stand Up New York, too. But it's a pleasure to have you, man. Thanks it's for a coming on. Pleasure to be here, man. You get a, a nice slam in the studio, man. <laughs> this is slamming is the word place, for man. Can it's you hot. believe this? <laughs> Yeah, this is awesome, man. <laughs> Direct TV is signing some jacks. I don't know what I did wrong, or right, or right. I mean, you know, I, I haven't really led a, a great career to deserve this. Hey, man, you got to take it. Take this coming. <laughs> it, it's yours, man. Yeah, it's you, mine right now. Yes, then it's yours. You deserved it. You got it. It's yours. I, I, I think it's a tax right Don't second guess that. <laughs> I think it's a tax well, right However, right. you got to work out, man. <laughs> Now, you what, know. Um, you know, I always wanted to say, you, you know what you guys did at Chappelle's show? You yeah. actually did something that was really hard to do comedically. You sort of reinvented how to do a sketch. Because sketch comedy had been, you know, uh, your show of shows, Carol Burnett show, Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. It was all good, but it was the same format. It kind of got played out. But what mm -hmm. you guys did, especially with the Rick James thing was, you invented a new way to do it by clearly you telling a story, right, a great right. story, having a guy and then recreating the story mm -hmm. intercut with you telling it yeah. in a real funny way and actually getting Rick James and having Chappelle do the impression. And, and like and that created a real original, hilarious, oh, yeah, classic man. sketch. Classic, classic. How did that come about? Like, like were you in the writer's uh, room telling that no, story? No, no, no. That, that was a. Uh, People that that know me, mm -hmm. they 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 were amazed that I got famous off of that because that's my personality. I you know I, I recant the past. On you a tell a great story I, on a regular. That's that's that's, that's part of being a, a great stand. That was just yeah. one that I happened to be telling at the right time and the right people were listening. Yeah, and it just you know evolved into the sketch. But who did you tell? You told your son. I was in the lunch room, so I was at the table telling a <laughs> right. lot of people. That's what I figured. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. We were all laughing, ha ha ha, and Dave wasn't laughing. He was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and turn that into a sketch. Not what? And next thing you know, it was... Because <laughs> you could tell how sketch. funny you yeah. are at telling the story. It was really brilliant. But now you, your brother is, is Eddie Murphy. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah. when he hit big, he was so young. Mm -hmm. you're, you're older than him. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I apologize if I'm wrong here, but when, when he hit big, you were away in either the Army or the Navy, a prison. The Navy, or, 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 the Navy. Did you ever do time? Yeah, I did one year. You did? You Nassau did, County but, Jail. But you were a one... Exact prison. What? Nassau County Jail. Nassau one year. That's not prison. I did. That's, that, that's not getting a mistake. It's, it's two different. It's jail is not prison. I, I spent time in L.A. County yeah. jail, so yeah, I know what you're talking different. about. Yeah, yeah, I never, I never did the prison thing. Either. Thank yeah, God. Prison is a little deeper. Than <laughs> jail. It's a little different. Yeah, yeah. But you were away in the Navy. Yeah, I went to the Navy. I'm a vet, six well, years. You good know. for you. And yeah. and when he uh, so as an older brother, you, you told a great story uh, on Howard mm -hmm. that when 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 you came back. Uh, he hit it big, and you noticed that he, you had to sort of school him a little bit. You noticed that he was still hanging around with some guys that were were kind of shady and might, not, not hanging around guys, but hanging around in places. You in know places what I'm saying? where yeah, you can't you can't uh, once your name goes up in lights and everyone makes a big announcement. This person is successful. This person has money. Right. Then you can't go to the hood mm -hmm. and go to like a, a regular hood spot and not have no type of backup. You know, because somebody's gonna be looking at you like. 
Yeah, Sammy. but you're a mark. You are a mark. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I had a, a similar thing because I grew up in North Jersey, sort of a blue collar town. And my first break was I was like 26 years old and I got on a show called Mad TV, a sketch comedy mm-hmm. show. And literally, I, I had the screen test for the show. I found out I got the show and I was going to be on a pilot. I went from making 12 grand a year driving a cab and doing some stand up to now like 10 grand a week on a network show. Mm-hmm. I land from LA and my buddy, we'll call him Eddie, picks me up with his, his brother. And um and uh in a car and uh he's like, Hey man, congratulations, congratulations. We get pulled over on the way home, man, because he's speeding. And I'm like, whatever, we get pulled over. And he's and he's starting to panic a little bit. He goes, Artie, I'm so sorry. Listen, why don't you get out of the car and just and just start walking down the road? Run away. I'm like, what are you talking about? Because he goes, the car's stolen. <laughs> <laughs> he picked me. Yeah. I went right back to the old day. <laughs> you know, yeah, not that yeah. I ever. I he picked me up from. I I, I came back from L. A. after mm-hmm. making it, like in after my head, and, and they, committed a crime immediately. <laughs> they picked me up in a stolen car, yeah. and uh, I got out of the car. Uh, true story. Well, the, the, I got out of the car and I slowly walked into the night down the New Jersey Turnpike, and I called my other buddy uh, when I got to a payphone before you know cell phones, mm-hmm. and they came and picked me up. I, they picked me up in a stolen car. So, you got to be careful, you know? You got to be careful, man. I, I still know people that, you know, do bad things. Right, you know, right. I, don't, I try not to hang around. I don't be around them, you know? But I still know people that, you know, this guy right here is bad right. news. From from past experiences, you know? Because yeah, you exploded with Chappelle's show, man. Oh, so yeah, it must have, uh, you got, I mean, and again, great show. And uh, d- d- were guys on you even, even like, after on all me. those years? Yeah, no I mean, guys was ever on me. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not on, what I mean. Not on. <laughs> I, I mean, were, were, they, were, were some guys trying to get back involved with your life that oh, you had yeah, seen man, Yeah, years? man, yeah, man. I got a whole bunch of new cousins, too. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you figure that out. Yeah, I don't know. That, they, they, but they're really in my family. Though. I, I, they just all right, okay, nowhere. yeah. I got some real. I got some country uh, country cousins down in uh, down Wilmington, south, Wilmington, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Those yeah, are my real, real like like honey boo boo. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh God, yeah. you don't want them black honey boo boo. You don't want them coming around for money. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think, you probably answered this a million times, but, and I know Dave very well, actually, because we started out doing stand-up together. What do you think happened with Dave, man? I mean, uh, do you still talk to him, first of all? Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I still mean, talk to everybody, man. Every, I'm cool with everybody. I'm, you know, I'm at, at war with no one. What was it you know? like on the set that day? I mean, was, what do you think just We weren't happened? on the set. It was, everyone was home. Uh-huh. You, you got know, a call. So, yeah, you got that call. You know, <laughs> Dave's not coming in. No, not Dave's not coming in. It was like, don't you come don't in. Don't you come in. Don't right. waste your time. Coming in. Right. And what are you talking about? It was kind of like that movie uh, uh, with De Niro and, and, and. King of Comedy? No, 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 no. Was it Goodfellas? Yeah. I think it was Goodfellas. Right. When, when him and. Him and. Uh, 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 what's the other one's name? Leota, uh, Joe Le- Pesci. Yeah, Leota. Right. Ray Leota and, and, and De Niro were in the diner. Right. And. And and uh, Joe Pesci was getting made. Right, right, right. And and, and De Niro was real charged up and happy. <laughs> and then they get the then that they was call. me. He was real charged up and happy. <laughs> and then he went and got so on the like, phone. You're getting made. He went and got on the phone. They said, <laughs> "We do what we could do." He's gone. There's gone. And that's that. Yeah. And there's click. No, there's nothing we can do about there's it. There's nothing we can do about <laughs> it. <laughs> click. <laughs> that's the same type of, type of way that right. went down. And, and I reacted like him. I broke the phone. He went, <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be Reenacting that scene. Devastating, because you guys were at the pinnacle. Devastating. Yeah. Devastating, yeah. Now, how long before you talked to Chappelle after that? How long did uh, it... I seen him about six months after that. Right. And uh, uh, that was, I, I was in L.A., and uh, I was with my brother, and we was driving past the, the comedy store, and I seen on the, on the, uh, the marquee, it said, Dave Chappelle, one night right. only. Right. And I was like, wow, Dave Chappelle. And then, and then I said, that's Dave Chappelle right there. He was standing right in front of the club. He was going to go in. He's back. So, yeah, so now I want to kick the window for a minute, and then we watch the show. Right. You know? Now, what, did your brother give him any advice on the fame thing? Did your brother try to talk to him? Uh, and say, like, if what, he did, what I wasn't yeah. there when he did it. You know, um, I, don't, I, have, I wasn't never around when he right. gave advice to Dave about the, uh, his fame or whatever. So I'm not saying he didn't do it. Right. But I, I wasn't present when it happened. 
You're from Roosevelt. Now, what do you think it is? I'm from about- Brooklyn, but I used to live in Roosevelt for four years. Oh, you, oh, you, yeah. you grew up in Brooklyn. Though. I grew up in Brooklyn, yeah. But Eddie spent most of his time in Roosevelt. He go to high school. He lived there, there for stuff. about four years too, four Does, or five years. And there's something about there. Roosevelt. Something's in the water there, man. Something's in the water. Ain't a lot of famous people. Yeah, in Roosevelt? you got Howard Stern, my old boss. That's you right. got you and your brother. You, you got, got Dr. Got, J. Dr. J. You right? got you got Aaron Hall from Guy. That's right. You got Public Enemy, Chuck D. Yeah, Flay. yeah. And then, you and got Pablo from the the Harlem. Globe Trotters, Pablo Robinson. And it's not uh, a big piece of it's land. It's one square mile. Right, right, right. I mean, that's yeah. kind of a cool thing. Mm-hmm. You know? Now, what do you got going on now? You're with, uh, you doing something with Ashton Kutcher? I, I, I did a show, uh, right. who, uh, Who Gets the Last Laugh. Now, what is that, like yeah. a prank thing? That's a prank show, yeah. Uh-huh. I, they had me come on. But see, when I did that show, I did something similar to that with Paulie Shore. Right. You know, so I was, I was like, okay, we're going to do a prank. Okay, no problem. I, I did this before. But after we did the prank and they shot it and everything, they said, now we're going to put it in a contest. Okay. What do you mean a contest? <laughs> it's a prank contest. We got three other people that did pranks, too. We're going to compare them and have the audience call in and vote to see which prank they like the best. And right. Blah, blah. So this show was a whole lot more involved because, you know, at the end you have a, a big studio audience and this is, you know, they make a, they, they really big it up. So wow. it was fun, man. Now, I didn't win. I didn't win. You but, didn't you know, win? No, nah, I had fun. But is this out of air yet now? I shouldn't have said that, right? <laughs> we can we can cut it out, sorry. Right. Is yeah. there a delay? We have a delay. Don't right? worry about it, man. I didn't win. Doom, so, so. <laughs> Doom. I mean, you know, so it doesn't matter. You'll be fine. I also could be lying right now. Yeah, right, exactly. Uh-huh. It makes you know it makes it more, more interesting. When That's does right. it air? Tune in. See what happens. See if I'm telling the truth in that. When does it air? Uh Richard. April. April what? In April. Oh, exactly. Yeah. What was uh, Kutcher like to work with? He, this, this is amazing. I never met him. To, never you met never him. met the guy in the whole thing? He's a true entrepreneur. He really? was no way around. He, he didn't show. Ashley Kutcher show. I was like, really? Wait, did it open? Sign me up. you kidding we me. We got down there. It was a bunch of guys I'd never seen before. You just never met them? You never met the guy? No. Nah. <laughs> All right. It was cool, though, man. You know, my man Donald Faison hosts the show. So. He's he's great. Yeah, so yeah. it was good to see Donald again. I did a movie with him before. You know, Great actor. Great actor. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Good dude. You know, so I hung out with him for a minute. That was good, a good reunion meet between him, himself and me. You know I mean? uh, we got to take a quick break. You mind hanging around for one more? Not at all. Let's just do it, man. Yeah, Let's sure. Okay, Let's we'll be back uh, with the great Charlie Murphy on more of the Artie Lang Show. Come on back. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. Sitting here with Charlie Murphy. Uh, Charlie, you, uh, you a sports fan? This is technically oh, big a time, man. sports big time show. sports fan, man. Who do you like? Uh... Oh, I can say it again. Shout out to the Baltimore Ravens for winning the Super Bowl. And congratulations to my boy Ray Lewis. You know, Ray? Great, that was a great game. Yeah, yeah that, was. that was. a great game, man. It was great to see, you know, him get get the ring before he left the game. You know what I'm saying? You know Ray well? I, I don't know Ray. You don't well. know him, but you're a Raven fan, I'm man? Big time fan. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, it was cool to see that. I think the Niners got enough rings. And it was cool to see, like, sort of the underdog. Ed Reed's an older guy, too. I like seeing the older right, guys. Right, 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 School these guys a little right. bit. So it was really, really, you know. You follow was, uh, baseball or hoops, any locally? Uh, basketball, I like, uh, I'm, I'm starting, I'm liking the Knicks right around now. The Knicks are showing some fire. They're showing some, uh, you know, Carmelo was the man, you know? Yeah. He's, so. I'm, I'm really liking the Knicks right now, but my team, yeah. oh, the, the, you know, for years has been the Boston Celtics. You know? Oh, no kidding. I, I was a big fan of the Big Three, which is they no longer have the Big Three. You know what I'm right, 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 right. So, uh, you mean from the 80s? Oh, no, I'm no, talking no, about when they had, when they had Garnett. Uh, oh, the, the recent team. Yeah, the recent team. Yeah, 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 okay. okay the recent Pierce, team. Garnett. Pierce, yeah, Garnett. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ray yeah, Allen. So, now, what about know, Rondo, I, man? You Rondo. think they can do it without him? Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a big injury. Uh, yeah, that's a big, that's a big, big. What injury. a player he is, man! I, tough I, guy, tough guy, man. I, I wanted them because because I don't like like uh, front runners, so I, I root against the Heat. I'm a big underdog guy. So when they were playing the Heat last year, man, God, and Rondo was having those games. Oh God, I was just, I was mm-hmm. so hoping they would they, they would make that happen. So was I. So yeah, was I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you follow baseball at all? Not really. Not, not you know, really. not really. It, my thing is, it, I watch basketball. But right. I'm, Charlie Murphy is a boxing fan. That's my. Right, that's boxing. the sport I love. Boxing, MMA. I watched it. You time. you like MMA as much as you like the old school boxing? No, no. I don't either, no. man. I can't get into it. I like MMA. Like though, don't get me wrong. Right. But I don't like it more than boxing. I don't like MMA. Every time I watch MMA, it's two guys like in the missionary position or something with bare feet, and, uh, like you know, a host of other <laughs> a host of other positions. Yeah, it's yeah. Like weird to me. I, yeah. I like you know when they had shoes and stuff. I love the Hagler Hearns days. You know. Yeah, I see a lot of MMA. Uh, matches where I was like, 
Yeah, if that guy fart right now, <laughs> he could turn his fat around. Really? I mean, <laughs> no, because it's based on wrestling. It's based on amateur wrestling. Amateur wrestling is the only sport where you could have yeah. your you could have your head in a guy's ass and be right. win- and be winning. And be winning. <laughs> be winning. Doesn't make exactly. any sense. Exactly. So I, I love the old old time boxing man. I, yeah, I love. I'm, I'm you a know, big time boxing fan. Heavyweight. I'm heavyweight. looking forward to the uh, the uh, Zab Judah Danny Green fight. Man. Yeah, that's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good fight. You, you yeah. got to search for the for the big fights yeah. uh, coming up. Uh, obviously, uh, you know uh, the old heavyweight guys are the ones I really miss though. Uh, when uh, back in the '80s, did you ever hang uh, with with uh, guys like Tyson and oh, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's, my, that's my homie for life, man. What was it like? I knew Mike with? before Mike was the champ. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. From from his Brooklyn days. Yeah, I, I didn't know him from. Oh. I knew him from him coming. He, he was a fan of my brothers, and he came over the oh, house. Okay, he was coming out. when he was up and coming. He, right. They, they, his uh, trainers and stuff. They they brought him over the house, and I met him. Now, but uh, he, how was about, a, he was. I think Mike was nineteen, you know, eighteen years right. old. Right. Now, by the yeah. house, you mean Bubble Hill. Now it was the house we was in L.A. Before, okay. Eddie was staying in. Well, we, we brought him over. And we all met him, and we was, we've been friends ever since. Bubble Hill yeah. was a house. Classic. Like, like you, mm-hmm. your brother did a great thing. He made a modern-day version, an 80s version of Graceland. He made, he made like, you know, comedies Graceland. <laughs> Bubble Hill up in Englewood, New Jersey. And uh, well, describe that well, average, like, you know, party at Bubble Hill in the 80s. Like, who would you find? Sugar Ray, Sugar Ray Leonard, I'm sure. Oh, or, whoever, you name it. Just, you know, you name the person. They've all been there. Just hanging yeah. out. Yeah, right. I remember one party was so big, so so crowded, right. that uh, <laughs> the, the next day, yeah, there was like a half inch of dirt on the bottom of the pool. <laughs> really? Or maybe that was skin. I don't know. <laughs> what the hell? It was like, it like what is that in the pool, man? Is it, that's <laughs> dirt. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. How how, how long did it take to clean that? <laughs> they had to drain it and scrub it out. It, it was really nasty, man. What the, what, so you had it an was indoor... To, it was like so many people had gotten that pool that day, you know, like hundreds of people was in there. It had an indoor pool. Indoor pool. Indoor yeah, it wasn't pool. designed for hundreds of people to be No, there, no, no. Know? And you yeah. had people dancing, just falling into the dancing pool, hanging and, out. And yeah. Falling in there, yeah, right, it was crazy. Right. Man. <laughs> but it was a great party, though, man. Now, what, uh, you still talk to Tyson? Is he still doing okay, Mike? Yeah, I, I did a movie A movie that Mike was in, and it was called uh, The uh, Cookout 2. Right. You know, it was a little uh, low-budget film we did, and Mike was in that, and so I got to, you know, hang out with him that day. And it was good to hang out with him, man. Mike got his thing together. Have you seen his one-man show? Because I'm dying to see I it. I missed his one-man show because I'm on the road. So when his oh, one-man okay. show was playing here in Broadway, right. I was in Europe. You know, so I missed it. Uh, yeah. th- that story he tells about catching Robin Givens coming home with Brad Pitt and Brad Pitt seeing Tyson. Could that- you imagine the feeling <laughs> no. to be Brad Pitt? No, I, 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 I can't would, imagine that. <laughs> Brad Pitt should have, should have framed the drawers he was wearing at, at that moment. Because you know something is in there. Oh, man. These are the actual drawers I was wearing when Mike Tyson busted me with his wife. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what pisses me off when I hear that story is just, just the, the, the the amount of ass Brad Pitt was getting. I mean, just who didn't he bang? It just it just aggravates the hell out of me. Like he was he was like sort of unknown at that time. And he's like you know Robin Gibbons was smoking hot, married to Mike Tyson, and he's messing around with that. That's a ballsy guy. He should have got his ass kicked. He should. Tyson was not, was nice there. He should have kicked his ass. <laughs> I don't know. I think Mike would have gotten a lot of trouble. Yeah. Or maybe you should have slapped him or something, like a backhand bitch slap. That would have been nice. Everybody that Mike beat up, kind of, when you look at them, they were kind of like a, a worthy opponent. Right, right. That wouldn't have been. <laughs> no, no, that wouldn't have been, been like. It, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right, right. That's why it was. It been horrible. It, it, it was hard for me to believe that he ever hit Robin Givens, like she said, because, you know, he hit Trevor Burbick, and Trevor Burbick couldn't get out of bed couldn't for get three up. days. Couldn't get up. He couldn't Robin get up. Givens was five foot. I didn't know how she was, you know, she but was he, fine. But he, I think he. He said he hit her, too, so... Yeah, you know, yeah, well, <laughs> Things happen when you're young, man. Yeah, yeah. when you're young. I yeah. did a lot of bad things, too. So. Me, never, too. Never with something as hot as Robin Givens. But so, what do you got going on now? You, can we follow you on Twitter or anything? You can or? find me on Twitter, at C. Murphy Comedy on Twitter. My website is charliemurphycomedy.com. I'm very active, you know. 